Rusty at Possum Bayou. The video today is going to be basically a layout update. The first one is going to be an idea I had got from a fuse block from, from AutoZone or whatever. still haven't installed it yet. Maybe it's a good idea, maybe not, but we'll try it and see, and I'll let you know. And the next one's going to just be me showing my layout. And it's going to be, still have all the junk and clutter on it. And then the next clip after that's going to be just an overview of the layout once I've took a lot of that clutter and stuff off of it. And then the next couple of clips are going to be some shorts of my cat watching TV. Yeah, she's watching TV. She's watching some bird videos and a cat video. So let's get on with the show. Well, I went to AutoZone today and I bought this fuse block to use to protect my different sections of the layout or different blocks of the layout. I'm hoping that works pretty good. It was like $19.99 has a little indicator lights to show which fuse is blown. So hopefully that does what I need it to do. Get the train running. Still got a lot of stuff from when I was laying the track on here. I said I had a lot of fun troubleshooting this thing. I actually got this thing where the train can run on all the tracks. I'm just going to show this one, but I have done that. Now I've got everything connected on a little terminal board underneath the layout, which I'll use with that fuse block to separate all of them out. Just a quick look, I got everything cleaned off. Ooh. Most everything anyway. I got a little bit of track work to do, but not much. So I gotta do this. Now one thing I plan on doing doing away with this. I don't really like how this is up here like that. What I wanted to do is straighten this out. Put a run around track over here. And take this, move it down past here, and then go away with this. And then put in the middle of that extra siding way to get from here to there the run around track and I plan on doing away with that siding as well give it like it's going through a distance through the woods or something so right now I do have it dizzy here a little more track lay over there too so that's kind of what I got going on now hey everybody these up these three little clips coming up is going to be a cat watching TV Check it out. Brown-headed cowbird. Although brown-headed cowbirds are native to North America, they're actually quite beautiful birds, with many different colors shining from their feathers. But the problem is, where there is one, they understand object permanence. They are able to understand that when an object disappears from sight, it doesn't mean it's gone from existence. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a little layout to her, and that cat's about nuts, I think. But she likes watching those shows, so. So, I don't know if anybody else has had a cat that'll watch TV like that, but this one will. She'll sit there and watch it, especially on bird videos, aquarium videos, and cat videos. So, just keep an eye out for my next layout update. Uh, the, I think I'm going to do a video on showing a little bit of a little oversight I had done on here with a little, had to do a little troubleshooting with short I put into it unintentionally. Just stay tuned for the next video and until the next time I see you, I'll see you.